Welcome back everyone to the Dreams of Austria mod, which also includes right now in this campaign. The CH Transfer Tool mod, as well as Pedal Peace Conferences. I'm your host, Tam Mocha and right now, this is definitely not where we left off yesterday. It is now September 9th, 1943, and we pushed and held the line pretty darn well against the Germans and the Poles and, yeah, those people of all sorts. Now, our allies are at war with the common turn, which is not a bad idea. But with our current Pact of Rome... We'll see what happens. Also, we're still holding the line against the Japanese, which has America in their faction, even though Mexico joined the Bolivarian Alliance and they're taking out uh, New Mexico and Arizona. And part of California. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the heck is going on down here? Um, wow, look at all this. All of Central America joined the Mexican... Not the Mexican faction. Central America joined the Japanese faction because I think Mexico went to war with them. So, let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, Epirus, uh, Loyalists, Siam, Panama. Yep, so it's very weird. Casualties, though. We need to talk about casualties. So, we've lost a little, about, almost 600,000. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, realistically, just like off-screen, I've just been slowly going at the Germans until we encircle them, destroy them, push back their lines a whole bunch. Fifth Portuguese Empire. So as you can see, they haven't lost too many guys. They're really, really close to Capitu. Actually, they're 100% of the way there. Look at that. Uh, let's see. We killed quite a few of them off. They have less than 100 divisions. Of course, the Poles have quite a few. I really don't want to take out the Japanese, but we'll see what happens, shall we? And we did get some other stuff done. We've got some comments to go through as well. We have some dockyards now, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we've already captured Berlin, I believe. Yep, Berlin. We just took Hamburg, so hopefully the war will be over and we'll have a good time. So... First off, someone asks if I can play in Kaiser Redux as Russia. Uh, probably eventually, yeah. Probably eventually. Uh, no promises. I really need to get to that mod at the time of this recording, so... We'll get there eventually, I promise, but... Like I said in other videos, including, I think, even this campaign. There's so many mods out, and time is so, so limited. So, we'll see. Guys, I'm not coming into war against those guys. I don't want to fight the communists yet. We just got to prepare ourselves, and I just kind of want to leave the faction. And maybe just kill Italy ourselves. Sounds like fun, right? Stetten. We need to be taken out. Warsaw has to get taken out, so. And we got that. Once Stetten is gone with all these divisions in there. Nice. Even the French are over here, too. Free France. Cool. I asked you guys yesterday, though. <clears throat> oh, currently, what we are doing rocketry research. Oh, it's right here. Which has no description, which is totally fine. I ask you guys whether we should do a professional army or a large army. Which will influence mountain artillery, feed the war machine, masters of mountain warfare, or total warfare, or total war. So you guys overwhelmingly said that we should go with a professional army. So we'll go down that way. So, very cool. Okay, Catholic state. Nope. Someone did try to explain it to us in the comments of yesterday's video or the last video. In which, the reason why we're at war with Japan, because our allies, like, they were called into war. They decided to say, okay, to their allies that were already at war with Japan. Like, okay, we'll come in. So, uh, uh, something like that just kind of happened, so, I don't know. It's alright. Oh, we have absolutely no navy, so we'll have to build a lot of naval bombers and such, but whatever. Yeah, using heavy tanks, this is, the reason I don't like using heavy tanks a whole lot is because they so much supply. So much supply. I don't like all the supply use. I really don't. Oh, so bad. That's alright, though. Uh, we're again, we have 100% stability, 100% war support. Um, it looks like we're doing a great job here. They have a total of three divisions right there. They have a total of one divisions, and they're just, like, trading soldiers right now until they're dead and overran. Nice. Nice. So we just gotta kill Poland now. Oh, Poland! It's time for you to come home and be uh, put into submission again. Wow, actually, Romania's done a really good job. Holy cow. I'll be honest, like, with so many campaigns that I'm playing right now, I can't keep all my campaigns in my head straight, so... Uh, so a part of me is just kind of... I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say like, free-balling it, but I'm basically free-balling it. So... Because there's so many campaigns, especially when you're playing the Balkans a whole bunch. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, so let's divide up the lands what we think would be nice and fair. Uh, let's get a lot of scores. I apologize for the clicking. Oh. Uh, one of the comments said that well, we should take over the faction and kick Italy out so we don't have to fight the Japanese or at least the communists. We could probably do that eventually. How does the Angolan Empire there top? Well, let's where are the Soviets. There they are. Cool. Cool. So we'll give them all of this stuff. They have claims. I don't want these guys to get anything... That they don't deserve. Lublin. Uh, cores. Cores. Poland. Poland. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, so you guys can get that. Even though we might just go to war them anyways. Then we just kick these guys out too. We get to get free France though. Hmm. Well, Italy will be nice to you a little bit. You can have Savoy. Right? 
and Corsica. Cool. Uh, regarding Germany, I mean, realistically, we need all this stuff anyway, so... I'm not sure how this mod's gonna work with the Favalin front, so I'm just gonna take everything and see what happens. So, yeah. I mean, maybe we should puppet them? I don't know. So I'll just take all the lands first and see what happens. Uh, yeah, we'll take that too. National Spain, does National Spain have any claims on these stuff? Algeria. I guess I'll give this to, part of this to Italy. Mm, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give most of this to Italy and give a large chunk of it to Spain, perhaps. Yeah. So we're going to do something like that. We'll give... Oh, God. They're, oh, yeah, the UK did de decolonize, didn't they? So we can have that, guys. As well as this, as well as that... As well as this. Now, Spain, you could have this area, as well as this. Now, we could have these guys fight each other, Italy and Spain, for this territory, but whatever. I don't really want to get involved in that. Um, oh, well, hmm. France, oh, liberate. Uh, well, I was thinking about making these guys Spanish, just because we already have some territory down there. But then the France would, Italy wouldn't be able to get down here either. Belgium, hmm. Really, they can't even access this area anyways. Just just, just because of the sake of border gore, we'll give it to the Italians. Just because that'll look nicer. It just looks nicer, so. Uh, free France. I, I, I don't think I really deserve this too much. I could divide it between the Spanish, but at that same point, I don't really want to. I think I'll just puppet them to make it look nice. I know it's probably not very fair to uh, them, but, you know, it could be worse. Oh, it's Syria and such. Oh, God, I hate, I hate that the UK decolonized everything. Oh well. Um, uh, Syria, Syria, Kurdistan, Ooh, Kurdistan, Lebanon. Uh, why can't we just all have one thing here? I don't really want to own this. Iraq, huh? So I'll give this to Italy because they're pretty close. There you go. You can have that too. You can have some Middle Eastern colonies. This is totally the, like the triumvirate. Italy, you can have this too. Tahiti. Guadalupe, is that stuff? Ah, stuff down here. Um, hmm. The, we have the Bulgarians here. We got the French. I don't think they really did too much there. This, uh, Union Britain, you can have that, I guess. Here, decolonize some more Union Britain. There you go. You can have that stuff too. I don't think any, any one of us wants that stuff. Tahiti. Isn't that an island in the Pacific? Yeah, it is. Uh, I can take one. Why not? Basque. Oh, Basque country. Wait, where's that? Pyrenees? Wait, is that a... I'm just going to puppet the rest of this. Because I don't want to deal with all of that resistance. And Poland? Oh no. What do I do with Poland? Well, I'll probably just puppet them too. So, yeah. Cool. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's a lot more world tension now. That's cool. And we got another division. Nice. So, let's get this one done, and then we can hopefully do something down here. The Berlin Commission. Oh, wait, they have to be a subject of us. Cuba joined the Pact of Rome. Well, crap. Loyalists to Hmm. Hmm. Well, then. Maybe I should have just subjected these guys. Uh, yeah, that probably would have been a smart idea. Unless we get... Maybe there's an event, if we can do that, maybe? Do we get an event for releasing America? Or, not America. The German Empire? If not, then I'll just go back and redo what we've already done, so. Give it, like, maybe a few more seconds. Maybe Berlin Commission? Yes? No? I'm not seeing anything here. Um. Well, alright. Well, maybe we'll go back and figure out if we can do it correctly this time. Perhaps? Yes? Maybe so. And here we have the Berlin Commission. Following the fall of Germany to the Austrian onslaught, Austrian Chancellor Ernst Rüdiger Steinberg has announced the formation of the new German government to lead the war-torn nation, one that is completely loyal to the new overlords. As devout Nazis and captured Waffen SS members are being executed at a constant pace, Franz von Papen, a Christian conservative politician, has been sworn in as a Chancellor of Germany once again, and he has already chosen to who will fill up the multitude of government ministries, certainly all of them being handpicked by the Austrians. Despite the Austrians' attempted at illusion, it is clear to all that this new Berlin Commission are little more than puppets of the southern neighbor. Our dominance is clear also. With this, I decided to just take Bavaria for now.
Oh, uh, well, this part of Bavaria, I guess. Franken is technically, I think, part of Bavaria anyways, but uh, I'll give you wrong about that. Anyway, so we took that just because we already claimed on it anyways. And I also took also Thrain just because I don't want anyone else to fight over it. So, hey, with the Berlin Commission here, so. Led by Von Poppen. Very cool. And they have unique focus tree. And Cuba joined, let's, like normal. Germany in ruins. Legitimized. Okay, cool. Defen German defense forces. Very nice. Return exiled scientists. A new officer call. A German economy reborn. Very nice. So, yeah, we still have to take out these guys, but hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I don't want to defend these, this area. Oh, God. Loyalists. Japan. People's Republic of China is in the Japanese faction. You know the world is messed up when that happens. You know it's really just messed up. Cool. Let's grab some 43 stuff. we got to get more fuel as well, because holy crap, we need some fuel. Oh, boy. Uh, and we'll probably end up going to war with the Soviets as well. So, uh, What happened over here? I gave I probably to these guys Phalangist Poland as well. Very nice. Led by Bol Boleslaw Piasek. uh, Piaseki. And they have a generic book screen. That's totally okay, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it should be relatively okay down here, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. And I haven't done any focus yet either, so go ahead and move on in if you can. Have a good old time. So, the Berlin Commission. Oh, Integrate Bavaria would actually be really, really nice to do. Nope. Uh, I would love to. It's 35 days. Yeah, I'd like to get the core on that. Berlin Commission would be really nice. Let's go and Integrate Bavaria, shall we? To the world's disbelief, we overcame all odds and brought down the German type. Now we will root the spoils of war. Bavaria was our client state in the days before Germany united, but we have something different planned for them this time. They will be brought completely into the fold and made into Austrians. As for those who resist, well, we have ways of dealing with them. Very fun ways. And man, this game, this mod, I know it's 43, but it, it, it lags. Oof, a little bit of lag there, just a little bit. Wow, we need more manpower too. If that's the case, have we cut down? Nope, we've not cut down. Just go ahead and cancel some of these guys. We don't need that many more divisions here, so that'd be nice. Thank you. Throw more guys on the front and keep pushing in because we cannot allow the Americans to do well here. Keep, keep doing them dirty. As well as our southern front is still open, so. Yep, there goes the Dutchies Indies. Nice, overran some guys. Nope. And, oh, there goes Belgium. Are they in the war with us or no? Wow. Um, this is a gigantic mess, I'll be honest. We still have Paris under control for now, but they're going to probably be taken out, so. Go and do this. There you go. Go ahead and move on in. If we can get Bordeaux, that would be actually really good. Cut all these guys off. It's not that many, but it'd still be nice to do. And how are we doing around here? Are we doing okay? Oh, God. They've got so many American soldiers here. It sucks so much. Uh, Sure, Netherlands. You can move on in if you want. Good. Better rubber. We definitely got to get more fuel, though. We got to get more fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. We got to get some naval bombers as well. Yeah, the best. Oh, these guys have been cut off. Good, 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 good. Anything else we should know about? Not really. Oh, another person here. Very good. If this is the case, we're going to go and do this. So we can discover and help uproot some enemy entrenchment here as well. So anything else around here? Yes, Brittany. Good. Help lower their entrenchment. Baga has been wounded. Oh, yeah. I mean, I kind of figured that Americans were fighting us. Just saying. Man, if we could snipe these guys off, that'd be so good. Yeah, we're losing a lot of guys doing it like this. We lost 53,000 so far. The Americans have lost quite 400,000 to uh, to us, which is not bad. How is the air superiority over here? It's god-awful. Wow. All right, we need some planes. Do we have any spare planes? Maybe a few, perhaps? Yes, no? Make sure we got enough for everybody. Nice cast, tactical bombers. There you go, not bad. We definitely need more fuel though, so we'll get there eventually. Steel. Um, since we're here, might as well do that. There you go. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Push them out of the continent. Oh, pretty much, that's the main goal right now. Doesn't matter what it takes, America's got to fold. Actually, 
Again, cores all over the place. They're still fighting Mexico too, which is not bad. They're led by Douglas MacArthur. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Classic explosives. Nice. I mean, even though it's costing us quite a bit of uh, manpower and supplies for this, this is doing relatively okay though. Paris would be nice. We'll be forced out of attack. Integrate Bavaria. Cool. And then Leibniz Round, but the Berlin Commission. The new government of Germany, the Berlin Commission, is loyal to us and will oversee our ex exploitation of the German resources in for return for a modicum of autonomy headed by the pop front. Franz von Papen, a former Weimar Republic Chancellor. This commission is made up of military officers, politicians, media moguls, and corporate leaders that are all in our pocket. But now that we've brought Germany to submission, we must decide what exactly to do with them. Partial annexation or further exploitation are both on the table. Oh boy, what is that? Mexico? Wait, what? What's going on in Mexico? Liberate the Caribbean. Sorry, Mexico, I don't really care, so good luck with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and hold. You guys hold as well, and we'll concentrate you guys, and I really want you guys to finish this, these areas off. Please don't lose... Oh my god, you idiots. Uh, don't... No, you let him take back Bordeaux. Why? How many divisions do you have? God dang it, this sucks. Oh, oh these guys just killed him. I know, it's probably part of the... Go. Yeah, it's part of the, you know, Magino line, but... Still, doesn't matter. This first fighting is good. We gotta get some naval bombers. Holy bad words. I should have been doing this earlier. At the same time, supply is so god awful. Keep building supply. Where? Uh, the bottleneck's pretty bad around here. And even here, too. Oof. Just build, build, build more roads. Good. Anywhere else we could throw this? Even another person here? Not bad. Uh, we'll go with two people here, actually. Oh, look, another segment right here, too. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm not sure if you guys did it, but it doesn't matter to me. Take him out. Sigismund, we're out of manpower. We probably should raise the conscription level some more. I hate going to all adults there, but we gotta do it. How do we not have soldiers over here? Now force it so they can die. How are we losing? Because they have an extreme amount of planes. That's probably why. Either win or die, tanks. There is no in between. I don't care what it takes. Alright, you guys get over here. There you go. Nice. What else we got? Logistics 1s would be actually very helpful. Passive defense. What do we have on our divisions? Uh, these guys, it's not bad. Anti-tank, though. We're not really using it a whole bunch right now. I think it'd be better for just to get this one going. Less supply consumption. It's not much, but hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs> so, come on. Break Bordeaux. Break Bordeaux. Do we have something else here? Yes. Air Doctrine, yeah. Nice. We spread our guys out a little bit more. There you go. Well, let's be pushing back to northern France. At least that's good. Oh, look at that. Nice. Food oil processing. Even more oil. we got to get more oil. Our relationship with Germany. Germany, along the greatest threat to Austria, even back in the days, the empire has fallen before us. Now they're subservient to us under government of our choosing. Franz von Papen has been installed as Chancellor once more, now leading the puppet Berlin Commission instead of an independent Germany. His devotion to Catholicism and his opposition to the Nazis makes him the perfect candidate. Still, our ministers and those of the Berlin Commission do, are not clear on what our intentions are for Germany. Many of them in our government want to annex the Catholic prior to Germany, mainly located in the West, and form a united Catholic and German Union. However, there's a small minority who suggests allowing Germany to keep limited autonomy and focus instead on harnessing their great economy. The latter option will certainly be less costly in the short term, but annexation could potentially make Austria stronger than it has ever been in history. How should we do with the new German puppet? They're not our brothers. All of their industry and power is at our disposal. We shall unite with the Catholic Germans and form a Prussian puppet state. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do from the beginning, so... Uh, so we need to have these guys as a core. Okay, that makes sense. So, just go ahead and start doing some of that stuff. That would be good. Anything else? we got to keep some of this PP here. So in the meantime, well, what do we want? Establish the Mott would be kind of nice. 
nuclear technology, computing technology. Let's go with professional army. Even though I would really want that extra uh, manpower, you guys recommended this one. So professional army, shall we? <clears throat> we shall. Well, at least you guys did that. And oh, so got forward observers done. We're not done with our land auction. Wow, we are slow on this. 16 divisions is quite an extreme amount to beat up. We might be able to beat up six, maybe. I'd love to throw them here, but that's just not that's just not good enough. Oh, we should probably help out the guys down here, maybe. Hmm. I don't know why the Japanese are not fighting the common turn. That of all the wars that should be happening. These guys aren't killing each other, which I do not understand one little bit. Hmm. Well then. Yeah, we're gonna have to double up on our production and such. We gotta core this stuff as fast as possible too. I don't want to go to war with them, because I, I can't afford a war with the Russians right now. Why? Why did you have to go to war with the Soviets? Of all nations to try to fight, why? Did they do war with the UK? They currently not... Okay, so they can't do that because they're communists. Alright, interesting. How about war with Japan? So they should be able to go to war with Japan anytime, right? No war goals on them. Alright, whatever. 15 divisions. I just don't think we have the strength to do this. Never mind. Okay, never mind. It right, does help to have their superiority, so. Okay, never mind, mind, never mind. I'm gonna force it all the way in. Kick every single last American out of there. Not much of there. Good, good, good. Break them. You broke them. Good. Can you actually just go in there immediately? As well, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? If you force the attack, you might be able to do very well. And which we are still doing force attack, so. Mm, why? Why? Why did they go to war with those guys? Why? Why? Well, I think this campaign's done then. I can't. I don't think we can fight those guys. Why did Britain go to war with them? <sighs> well, we gotta keep moving up this way then. Kick him out of the continent. Kick him out, kick him out, kick him out. So we'll do deal with this. We'll deal with this. I mean, our, our border to the east is completely wide open. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm a little panicking right now. Force it, force it, force him to die. Seven American divisions go bye-bye. Me -bye. Immediately move in. All right, help support the attack. Yes, we'll take some interwar fighters. That'd be nice. As long as they can hold the line. And they're actually doing relatively okay. So it might not be over yet, but we're going to need some garrison divisions. We're going to need more manpower. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's okay. So we can take those guys off. We can take that off. We can take that off. And actually, yeah, you can take that off too. Why not? Actually, what am I doing? Oh, uh, no. We're not going to use our own manpower. I'm going to use po Polish manpower. Uh, what do they got? Not bad. Cavalry templates? Not bad. Infantry template 4? Uh... Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good one. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. I want to do, do this one. There we go. Why would I do that other way? It wouldn't make any sense. 10 combat width? Nice. Leave them on high because we're going to need a lot of garrisons. Alright guys, tanks have done a great job, I'd say. Go to Amion. There you go. Straight there. Straight there. Is that how you pronounce it? Amion, I think? Cool. Get those extra tanks in there. We're going to circle those 11 divisions. Mexico, are you still justifying on us? Yes, you are. God dang it, Mexico. Uh, that's fine enough. 
No one else. No, 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 no. Good. Really go in. Go in. Go in. Stupid Americans. Ah, oh, get deep. Helps help really just destroy their supply. Good. Goodbye, Americans. Your divisions aren't very good for some reason, but hey, that's your problem, not mine. Roll on in. Alright, everyone. Go, 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 go. I'm not even going to bother. Let's, and even if we can't win here, the most important thing to do is just keep moving and make sure that I can't do jack squat. Professional army? Very, very nice. We're going to even, even need more than a professional army. We're going to need mountain artillery. And actually, then we're probably going to grab that because we need some naval XP for real Zizo. Force them to die. We cut Brittany off. Oh, look at that. 13 divisions. They're going to all die here. Nice. Uh, yes, we don't take all this. You know what? At this point... Do all that. I don't care. And then we'll kick them out of, down here too. That, they're going to lose a lot of guys. Hopefully our allies can hold off the Soviets for now since, as we're wrapping this up. So, Oh uh, yeah. Oh, these guys are faster than the tanks. Well, that sucks. Oh boy. Look at that fuel usage. Woo! That's a lot of fuel we need now. Greater Hungary will take six if we can. I don't want to trade over the rivers or, you know, oceans. So. And we're already, we don't even have any a fleet. No fleet here. Don't want to forget propaganda campaigns. Naval blockade. Invade the blockade with Portuguese convoys. We will accept the offer to use Portuguese convoys to transport goods where our own ships cannot reach. The morale of our troops will increase when they finally see their basic supply issues fixed. Oh. All right. Well, we'll try that. We can cancel it, but that's all right for now. Go, go, go. Oh, the Americans are all going to die here. And we're going to focus on national Spain. And then we're going to focus on the Soviet Union. We will smash the Soviet Union. It is 44. Happy 1944, everyone. Um, I'm doing okay myself, so. This is probably one of the worst outcomes ever for the United States. Oh my gosh, look at that. 40 plus divisions there. They invaded. They did a good job, but <clears throat> we're going to see a lot of dead Americans. This is probably what Eisenhower dreamed that what could have happened, or his nightmare about what could have happened if he actually lost northern France in 1944. It is 1944, so, oh my goodness, this is... Some might say disastrous. Oh, boy. We've killed off 1.5 million of these American soldiers. Oh, America. Oh, America. Douglas MacArthur, you are now really a failure. Oof. Oh, boy. You know, I wonder if... I'm pretty sure someone's asked this. Why didn't Douglas MacArthur try to run for presidency? Did he ever try to? He might have tried. Another 19 divisions trapped. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, it's really 20 because you have all those guys over there. Oh, my God. Gosh, uh, they still have plenty of enough, but they, they lost two. Well, they took out Cuba. They've lost two million soldiers. That's insane. So I don't want this to be too bad, but we're going to come over here as well. Go on, don't do that. And do that. And look at that. Political power, not bad. And can we do this anymore? No, no, that's fine. I don't want to send you guys over there, but how supply over here? If supply is bad, I'm not going to send my tanks this way. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's not great. It's really just not great. Ah. <sighs> It might be worthwhile sending him down south, but we'll see. Well, it's March 13th, 1944 right now. And your screen, what you're seeing is totally normal. When I reloaded the save again, just because I needed, needed to attend to other things, I can see the bottom of my toolbar, taskbar, for some reason. Hmm. Very odd. Anyways, uh, right now, these guys have landed once again, which really, really, really sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you're headed over there. Uh, go and hold on, guys. Let's, we gotta put down some naval bases, and we've already begun an offensive into the British-held Spanish lands. Now, we're winning in some places, we're losing in some places. Ultimately, though, it looks like we're doing relatively okay, which I, of course, do like. So, commander training is very nice. Let's grab some civilian economic stuff. Not bad, not bad. And Mexico is still trying to justify... Oh, no! Oh, wait, Mex... Hmm... Netherlands, what are you up to? Against the Berlin Commission and Union of... Alright, they want to kill us both off? Alright. I mean, they could try it. It probably won't go very well for anybody, but hey, they could try it. They definitely could try that, so... Nice. Very good. We're going to need more military factories. We're going to need a lot more stuff. We're making refiners. We're going to get at least one thing of... Well, we don't have a lot of space left. Hopefully we can take over the Germans eventually. And also, let's remind ourselves, we gotta do this stuff as well. That'd be good. Nice. Doing pretty well. You guys are still headed on over there. 
Any upgrades? No. It's weird that he's an infantry expert, but that's alright. Zaner's been wounded. That's alright. Any new upgrades? Zaner? No. No, 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 no. I mean, we can go in an expert, but I don't feel like it. So now that we're concentrating our soldiers better, we should be able to beat up these enemies a little bit faster. Dutch East Indies are gone. Goodbye, Dutch East Indies. Uh, we should be able to win, though. Hopefully. Hmm. I mean, that is quite a few enemy divisions, so. Uh, these guys have come back. God dang it. I don't like that. I really don't like that. You guys get down here. I want to take this port out first. Hopefully they don't go get to Bordeaux, so that'll be really, really important. Give them a few more seconds. We're going to keep attacking, though. We're not going to stop these attacks here. No, 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 no. Well, maybe we should, then. Since we weren't really winning there, so. There you go. Looks like someone got encircled up there. That's not good, but that's all right. Give them just a few more days. Masters of Mountain Warfare is done. Which we got more attack and defense for mountain stuff, which is awesome. Mountain warfare, operational destruction. Cool, cool, cool. Can we do any of this stuff? Yes. Bavarian Leben's Realm. Our efforts to Austrianize Bavaria has been largely successful. All the centers are either dead or imprisoned, and the local populace has grown accustomed to our new rule over them. Our efforts to integrate the populations will continue, but the job is mostly done. Bavaria is Austrian now. Very nice. It's 44. We better get some better fighters, though. All right? Cool. Head on in. And head on in. Before they try to get to Bordeaux. And we'll kill all these guys off, and then we'll kill everyone off over here in Brittany. Very good. These tanks are actually doing pretty well. It, it's, a, it's amazing what you can do when you have air superiority, I think. I think we have air superiority. Uh, I'll leave one of you guys here, though. There you go. There you go, just in case. Yep, we have a little bit of air superiority right there. Very, 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 very nice. Help them out up there. Good, kill them all off. Now, the front over here is doing relatively okay. I'm surprised that our allies are actually able to hold somewhat, but hey, it is what it is. Head on down. There's a 10 divisions down here that's got to go bye-bye. And right now, these guys are suffering a lot of attrition, which is something I particularly like to see. But that's just me. Maybe that's just me. The Nazi farm? Sure, why not? We can, just because we can. Cool. All right, boys. You did a great job. That's a lot of enemies we're going to have to kill up here. Wow! That is 30 divisions in a single tile. Well, if that's the case, we gotta do something like this. Because I still have a port over there, which really sucks to fight, but... We'll do our best. We'll do the best we can. Actually, no, don't don't spend... There you go. Turkey! Hey, we love Turkey! Thank you, Turkey! Could we actually win here, maybe? I don't know. I, I kind of doubt it. Because supply is probably really, really bad around here. So, let's not. Because you guys can tell how much the green to red bar is at the bottom here. I cannot tell. Can we actually try and do it? Maybe? Yes. Not up here, obviously. But down here, maybe. Oh. Breaking them here and there a little bit. Not bad. Defense is coming along. Nice. Oh, boy. Okay, they all just gave up. Nice. Well, as long as it can't pierce us, I guess that's the most important thing, right? Until they can pierce us, though, of course. They can't pierce us, though, which is nice. And we do have air superiority, which is really, really good. There you go. Nice, you actually overran him. Wow. Get some soldiers in there so we don't get over uh, encircled. Not over ramp, but encircled ourselves. Don't let them leave. Do not let them leave. Let them die here. Let them die here. Ah, Lebensraum. I love Lebensraum. Lebensraum forever. So the treaty, or they are our brothers. The truth of the matter is the Germans are our brothers. While we may have differences with the German Protestants, the same is not true of the German Catholics. We should bring German Catholics into the fold and make them into a proper Austrians. Annexing southwestern Germany is a start, but it's a long road to true integration. Nice. We lose a crap ton of stability, though. Wow. All right, they've got 30 divisions in here. Can we do it? Well, hopefully we can do it down here as well. So, they're still losing, so it's going to be costly for us. As long as we get enough manpower, I think we can do... Okay, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. That must be, like, I think, infantry equipment or something. Or planes or something, I think. I'm going to break through and go right there. 
Yeah, why are these divisions so easy to beat? This is... I mean, we were struggling earlier. I mean, yeah, I guess we do have air superiority. But God, literally that's the main thing in Hoi 4. If you don't have air superiority, you might as well not even try to, you know, do a war. How many divisions are we going to kill off here? Look at that. That is 1, 2. I can do math sometimes. 6 plus 5 is usually 11. 11 plus 2 is usually 13. 13 over here. 13 plus 21 is sometimes 34, right? 34 plus 5 is 39. 39 plus 11 is 52 divisions have been encircled in Brittany. Jeez Louise, guys. Like, I, I, like I, I love having an easy time destroying enemies, but this is... This is a bit extreme. This is a bit extreme. Just saying. Advanced fire bases, and we'll finish our land auction with shock and awe. God dang, I was complaining about using these heavy tanks earlier because they just take so much supply and such. Well, maybe I'll take that back. Maybe I'll take that back as long as they got enough supply. They, 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 oh my god, you just killed so many of them off. Wow. God dang. Are we done down here yet? Because I want to throw my divisions towards uh, Russia. Yeah, I might just throw my tanks down here. So, uh, and do we have it? We're going to get naval invaded again. And we still actually need to deal with this stuff. But National Spain is doing pretty darn well down here, actually. I might send my tanks down here instead, actually. Hmm. Well, let's finish these guys off. Unless there's another naval invasion happening around here. There might be. So, Let's get our tanks down there first. And then we'll pull the infantry off. Yeah, it's pretty bad down here for the infantry. Uh, where are the Spanish soldiers, guys? Um. Eh, maybe we don't actually have to send them down here. The infantry are doing pretty darn well. These guys move really ridiculously fast, too, which I love, 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 love. So if we can, we might just go down there. How's the front looking? Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. It's all right. Well, oh my god, there's so, too much supply issues down there. Oof. Oof. Let me get over there. Get a La Coruña. Uh, yeah, supplies just too bad. I'm, I'm moving you guys out. Uh, you guys come over here, defend this place for now. And why did my voice change? I don't know. Um, 44 ships, why not? Except for you. We'll t send the tanks back here eventually, so. Because they're almost all... Why did they go down all the way to Rome? What the heck? Guys, either give me the what I want or just leave me alone. Oof. Alright, so we lost some stability here. Purge of Wehrmacht? That's probably good. Over the course of Hitler's reign, the German Wehrmacht was thoroughly corrupted. Promoted officers were almost without exception devout followers of Nazism, resulting in the current officer corps being a giant liability for us. They must be completely purged clean of Nazi filth, no matter how long or bloody it is. The German military will be practically useless for a long time after this, but at least we won't have to worry about them stabbing us in the back. Good, good, good. Head on down there, guys. You're doing a great job. Bad words. Just bad words, man. But I'm not really too worried about that since we got the guys here. And it doesn't look like they don't have a lot of uh, manpower or a lot of divisions, but they could be just hiding. Iran, guys. Might as well call all those guys in, right? Excavation 5, nice. Even more rubber. Let's grab some more fuel, maybe. Oh, let's grab some of this. Streamline line. Uh, that's my favorite one to do. And by weakening our position here, the enemies might want to come to attack us a little bit more, maybe. Maybe maybe not. Actually. There you go. That's not bad. Oh, they're dumping soldiers in here like crazy. Jeez Louise, guys. Jeez Louise. Are the tanks down here? Are they suffering from attrition? Yes, they are. But as long as they're not moving, they'll do okay. We gotta deal with this as well. I wanna help these guys out, but there's just too many soldiers here. Supply's so bad. Alright, Edward Baga, you're doing relatively okay. I probably don't need to keep an eye on that one, but maybe we do, maybe we don't. Oh, what's going on over here? Alright, Xander. Actually, I knew some guy's last name was Xander. Huh. Okay then. 
Well, alright, not bad, I guess. You know, I'm gonna do this one off screen. And here we have it. I didn't even realize that we did the Berlin Commission, really, or the, the, the focuses, so we did get this territory as well, so. We're looking not too bad now. I did just take the Netherlands out and annex them just because, well, it just makes it look a little nicer, to be honest with you. We're doing pretty well over here still. Um, so we, I basically puppeted Norway, and I also took Ireland just because I don't know who to give it to, so. And I don't want to give it to the Japanese. I don't like the Japanese. And we also took the Austrian, well, Austrian East Indies now, so. Suharto, huh. Cool. So I didn't want to give anything to those guys just because I didn't want to, so. And also, I'll let you know, I've restarted my game here. And everything probably for you is still the same. But for me, I still see the bottom of my toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Just because we clicked on volunteers from Venezuela, so. This is very, very weird. I've never seen this happen before. Wait, hold on. Swedish, what the? Oh! The European Union, I guess, is here. Yeah? Okay, hey, there's Benelux minus well, these guys now, so... Go figure. Alright, well, another 40 divisions are about to die here. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Fuel refining, very nice. Awesome, awesome. And we don't have any garrison divisions yet, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Oh, America. So... I'd love to throw you guys over here. Also, I puppeted Ireland, but they're probably going to end up dying, so... I, I wasn't really sure what else to do with this stuff, so. Well, can we head down south, maybe? Maybe? Any upgrades? Oh, got a million manpower. That's kind of nice. Very cool, very cool. Anything else we can do around here? Uh, M's? Sure, we'll get the fuel, because we really could probably use it. Oh, boy, what is this? Oh, we're out of motorized? Oh, I guess we are out of motorized, huh? Alright, cool. And yay! Surrounded. Nice. Good job, guys. Head on in. Do the best you can. And that does not look very good. El Salvador, what are you doing? El Salvador. Cool. Could we actually attack and do well there? Maybe. Force the attack, and we might actually be able to really push him out. That'd be cool. Uh, attack Bomber 3, Naval Bomber 3s, yeah, that's good to do. Attack Bomber 3s as well. Fighter 2s, Fighter 3s, Naval Bomber 2s, or 1s to go to 2s, very, very nice. Gonna break across there if we possibly can. Still gotta fix this up. My goodness, guys, why do you keep attacking like crazy? If They only have a million manpower left, look at that. Uh, that's not a bad stockpile. They got oh, quite a few guns, which makes sense. We just purged the Wehrmacht. And time for empower West German Catholics. The Catholics in Western Germany are our closest kin and the ones we can trust the most to oversee our new territory. Protestants, former Nazis, and any supporters of German independence must be removed from public places and positions of power. With German Catholics at the helm, integrating them should be far easier. Uh, I love religious discrimination. Nice. Actually, these guys have pretty much been cut off. Not bad. Obviously, supplies are god awful down here, but whatever. Go and spread yourselves out. Don't take too many losses, please. And we'll have a good time. 20 combo with. Oh, we need to throw these guys on. There you go. Oh, crap. Well, at least this will make the borders look a little bit nicer. Has anyone else invaded yet? No, that's good. We gotta take out Denmark. Doesn't mean to take out Sweden, too. I hope not. But maybe, if we have to. I mean, I'm totally okay with that. Actually, this is a port. Uh, no. It's hard for me to, it's still hard for me to read this. I can't read, the, like, what's going on in the very, 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 very bottom of the screen for some reason. Nice. Kill him off. Kill him off. Is there anywhere along the line I can build up more infrastructure? Because I don't mind doing that. Oh, watch out. Cyprus is at war with us, too. Watch out. Guy's been... Okay, then. Well... Okay, why not? God, don't... Okay. Whew. Nice. Well, we're looking pretty good, I'd say, so far. Say, uh, Berglund? Why not? Uh, where are you guys at? 
you know, put down more resistance. There you go. That's a big, massive area we can put down. A lot of resistance. I love it. Down here, um, hmm, not really anywhere there. We have people in the Soviet Union, which is pretty good, I would say, just because that helped with entrenchment, uh, getting rid of enemies entrenchment and stuff, so. There you go. Good luck. Hopefully we can still discord behind the enemy lines. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Slender Islands, Java Sea. Oh, there goes Hellenic Republic. Thank goodness. Right, that those were our enemies, I think, maybe. Good. Do not let them get to a port. Sometimes I beat my computer on my keyboard a little bit too hard. There we go, garrisons finally. Led by someone who's got a lot here. Uh, Anton, I suppose that's fine for now. There you go. We all need a lot of garrisons for this. Wow. Oh, that looks really awkward. It's all right though. We only need a lot of garrisons. Maybe we should have made these guys like two combo with or something. I don't trust that our allies can hold on to these territories, so. It is what it is. But I also made some more divisions of the Romanian type. Thank you. Come again. Five tank divisions? Never enough. How many divisions are actually over here? Two? That's not much. Liao Wu? Oh, the Chinese. Oh. Well. Wasn't expecting to fight Chinese soldiers in Greece, playing as the Austrians. There's some words you just don't ever think that you're ever going to say. Wait, Otto... Was Otto really the one... Of all people to get captured, Otto, why you? Ah, a little better now. A little better. Now, I'm going to throw my tanks over here. What we're going to do is probably go this direction. Because supply is so bad. Um, God, Let's, can we make supply any better here? No, it's already maxed out. Holy cow! Uh, we already maxed out the planes too. Holy crap! Um, supplies gonna be super bad over there. I suppose we better mop up this area first here. Hopefully, the other people down south don't try to naval invade us anymore, or down west really. Please don't try to naval invade us. That's so annoying. Again, what the heck is going on? Well, hopefully we can rescue the other person. That'd be kind of good. Well, empower West uh, German Catholics. How about investing in the West German economy? The industry located in the rear have already proven to be a great boon for us, heavily supplementing our own economy. It only makes sense to invest back into the region for the betterment of all of Austria. Let's just think of the dividends. Nice. Very nice. Japanese Micronesia. Better watch out, everybody. Nice. Alright, are we ready to kick some more booty? Oh man, you guys take a lot to get over there, don't ya? Don't ya? You take Constanta, take Varna, they're done. Soviets still have loads of bodies, but they look like they're slowly running out of equipment, perhaps. Which would be a very, very good thing. They were trying to get more planes, which makes sense. Uh, we should probably get some more planes as well. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're out of fighters, maybe, maybe not. Yep, well. I see Wilhelm Sovens going to get. How? What the heck? How many other people are just going to get, like, abducted and such? Gotta keep going for that stuff, too. Holy crap! Oh, at this point, we gotta put some naval bombers here, too. There you go. That should release a little bit of damage, hopefully. Alright, you guys up there? Good. Break through. Force it. Force him to die. Get all the way down to Barna. Break, break, break. You go back, maybe. Alright, go right ahead then. Even if we do get encircled here, it still won't be that bad. Oh, they got stopped. Nice. Kill all these guys off. Nice. Uh, I don't want to... Oh, my gosh. Two British subs. 
Convoy, convoy. American sub, lost some convoys. Oh, it's some stuff there too. Nice. Wow, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh, that's the case. Oh, yeah, I still have you guys up here. That's not bad. There you go. Good luck. Yeah, that was actually really, really good. Wow, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. Well, they just lost like they just lost like, 25 more divisions or so. All right, good job, guys. I take back what I said about heavy tanks. I like them now. Then again, looking at the the mess up here, I don't really want to send my tanks up here. I really do not. They got Seattle, so actually, can we build up the infrastructure here then? Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully the Germans will let us do that real quick. Well, that talks about the free French stuff. Nice. And integrate Western Germany. It has definitely been uh, costly, but the process of uh, integrating Western Germany is nearly finished. The Catholics in the region man are new factors and fill out the ranks of the Bundes here, making up for our losses in the war against Germany. The mass, this mass population and industrial boom has made us one of the most powerful nations in the world and the undisputed masters of Central Europe. But this is only the beginning. We have further steps on the road to our destiny, but now we will walk it side by side with our German brothers. Cool. Any more fighters, maybe? Hopefully. Oh, well, you guys are up here. But you're not suffering too much. If we could just break up to here, that'd be really good. I want to give our guys as much time as they need to get some uh, organization. Oh, look at that. Nice. Subs. Convoys. It's an early sub hole, but that's alright. Alright, very nice. And very, very nice. Oh, you guys, uh, I don't you do that too much. Gonna hang out, just stretch yourselves out. Get, yeah, stretch yourselves out. It's always good to stretch your body a little bit every day. Alright. So, go up north. Force it. Force them to use uh, convoys over here. You're gonna hold. Good. One, two, three, that's all we want. Streamline line, very good. Feels looking pretty good. Rubber, maybe we need less rubber, more rubber. Oh, we don't need any more rubber, actually. That's fine. Romania, guys. Come on, man. Actually, lower their amount, then go up to... There you go, that's all better. Destroyer, not much, but it's, it's on to sinking. Good. Oh, do not lose area here. Shock and all is done. Nice. Do not lose it. Do not lose it. Do not lose it. Uh, so we're done with that, which is awesome. We're done with this stuff too. Uh, we're not losing too much anti-tank actually, so. Are you kidding me? You just got attacked? You just got encircled. Yeah, no. Um... If that's the case, I'm going to go back to an earlier save because that is stupid. And here we are. Now it's October 16th, but I was not going to deal with that encirclement thing. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm going to deal with an encirclement like that when our allies have literally put millions upon millions of soldiers on the border and they can't even hold a line. I'm not about that life. Nope. Nope. That, it, that just, no. We're doing the best we can here. And we're doing, I think, pretty darn well, but yeah, I'm not going to deal with BS like that. <sighs> I wish we had competent allies. Really wish we did. Yeah, I don't care if these guys die here. You're going to keep attacking, so. Screw it. We're just going to keep pushing this way. Take take out the ports. Take out the ports this way. We can use the ports if we get encircled. Or re-encircled. But, uh, yeah, no. You guys go down here immediately. Do not let these guys move. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm telling you to go in there. And you're disobeying my orders. Like, who do you think you are? I don't care what it takes. I really do not care what it takes. But hey, we got integrated Western Germany. Nice. Let's do Bundehill's chaplain. During the many battles of the Great War, it was common to find priests accompanying different military units. These chaplains served to boost the morale of troops and give them to their final rights. Or give them their final rights, should they meet their demise in battle. Give the soldiers peace of mind that their souls would always be safeguarded. We will expand the ranks of the Bundeshill's chaplain corps so that even the smallest of units have their own priests to accompany them. Very cool. Ah. <sighs> Fine. If, you, if you're just going to die there, I'm not interested in having you, like, perform. Oh, we can actually assume a leadership of a faction. Okay, cool. Nice. Cool. And now we're going to need a lot more tanks after this. Way more. 
Oh, we're gonna need way more chromium too, so that sucks. Thank you, Turkey, though. Yeah, honestly, these guys should be able to get, kill these guys off pretty easily, but you know. <sighs> oh, they're doing last stand, are they? Are they doing it? No, no. Somehow they're just capable of just winning here. Ah, oh, it's air superiority. That's the biggest thing. Like normal. I'm not even paying attention to what's happening over here. Convoys, destroyers. Not bad, not bad. That's still looking not too bad. The Japanese ships are down there, though. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, these tanks, they're extremely mixed bag. Sometimes they can do really well, sometimes they just can't. It's big sadness hours. Mm, we definitely need more fighters, though. Holy crap, we need more fighters. We don't have nearly enough. I wish our allies were competent, though. I really wish they were competent. Wow, look at that manpower now. Holy crud. Um, can we lower anything else here? This is what I really wanted, actually, the most. Another 15, there we go. Try that. And my deck, my deck, my desk is creaking again. Tactical bombers, nice. Not bad, not bad. Keep working on the air doctrine, because we definitely could use that to be a little bit better. Let's grab some better maintenance companies, too. There you go. Anything happening over here? Not too much, no. Any other further upgrades? Yes, please. Yes, please. Fuel refining is very nice to have as well. Even some more fuel refining, shall we? I don't want to borrow from our puppets anymore. Thank you. This is so sad. These guys can't do anything, can they? Stop attacking, guys! Stop attacking! We need someone to attack who actually has somewhat good organization, my goodness. I mean, I guess it's good to give our guys a little bit of a break, get some more heavy tanks in there, make more heavy tanks, and resupply them all, so... I suppose it could be worse. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. Service by requirement. Because we don't need to have all this extra manpower right now that we do have, so... Alright, uh, yeah, I actually might be able to win here. There you go. Force attack is extremely dangerous to use, but... Mm. Oh, you're done? No, you're not. There you go. Keep going at it. Keep going at him. Nice. How many men have we lost? Eh, it was about, that's, not, that's not too bad. I don't really want to invade the, so, the Union of Britain. I really don't. So, as you can tell, this is, this is the last episode. I just want to defeat the Soviets. So, no matter how long this lasts, I just want to defeat the Soviets. Yeah, they're definitely doing last stand here. They've got to be. Some of these guys are. Look at that. 6.3 continually? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, you're just kind of hanging out? Nope. Are we getting invaded anywhere? 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 Wow, there's a lot of things going on down here. Oh, they do have their, one of their fleets over here. Oh, crap. That's not good. But, you know what? That's okay. You know why? Because that just means it's going to be easier to kill them off. Nice. Just let them do that. Cool, cool, cool. Nuclear research, computer technology, Austrian Navy. Why not? 20 more naval XP? Or just 20 naval XP? <laughs> Somewhat useful, right? Hey, we sunk the Norwegian part of the fleet. No, they sunk us. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought we did really well there. Oh, I got excited for a moment. Oh, they invaded there too. God dang it, guys. Um, uh, I'm gonna pull you over here just in case. Cool. Hey, at least we got that done though, over here. Nice. Any more territories we can actually integrate? Yes, we can. Build some of those too, because we could use it. Nice. Oh yeah. They got a lot of things around here. Nice. Oh, they're trying to invade up there too, huh? Let's go on in. Nine more British divisions dead. What could be better than that? Ten British divisions. Oh, did you look at that? More destroyers. 1940 destroyers. Early destroyers. Convoys. Another early destroyer. Two destroyers. A light cruiser. God dang it, you pieces of garbage enemies. Stop trying to destroy my Polish divisions. I'm sure these guys still have a bunch of equipment, though. And manpower, yep. It's not good when the Soviets have, aren't all about serve. Stockpile, still got a good amount of equipment, though. Still got a good amount of equipment, so we got a while to go. 
Good. Another light cruiser, another destroyer. A convoy, a destroyer. Nice. Ground tech initiative, let's grab some carousel bombing next. Good. Good. No, I don't want your divisions. Sorry, I really don't care about them. Let's come over here and grab more logistics. That would be very beneficial. Let's go to Amsterdam, guys. Let's go, 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 go. These guys are taking a while to get there. Another convoy sunk. Good. It's like we're not even taking damage by doing this. Wow. Alright, so you guys are great. I could throw these guys over here too, but I don't really feel like it. Modern oil processing. Good. Uh, maybe we can research some more stuff here. Like that maybe, as well as some of this. Nice. Very nice. Get that Amsterdam. Nice. Good job, guys. Keep trying to kill them off. Oh, yep. Yes, yes. Cut off. Awesome. These guys are going to die here. Oh, focus. Learn from modern navies. Why not? Oh, they're expanding up here. Whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as we can kill these guys off. Matona must be learning more, please. Yes. Yes, no. Oh, uh, the Hague. Huh. Oh, they got that province back. That sucks. Yeah, don't let them get more supplies in there. Attack from both sides. There you go. Now they can't do anything. <clears throat> how much does this cost? 16? That's not bad. And this way they can't even reinforce there, so. How is the front... Oh my gosh. Why, guys, why do you keep attacking like this? Why? You're just wasting... You just lost what we already gained. Why? Ah. Uh. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Hey, it was a good battleship, too. Look at that. It's a really good battleship. But it still checks out, you know. All right, so we got to come back up here because these guys can't hold their line for Didalus squat. One, two, three. And this way, we literally just encircle and kill them all off, which would be very nice. Very, very nice. Go with two. You guys are going to do hopefully a hopefully good job. We already have 21 divisions there. Not bad, not bad. Um, nowhere else is there invading, which is good. You guys clean this up a little bit more, which is very, very nice. But I think it's going to be ultimately up to us to manually make sure that these guys die. More attack bombers, yes please. Just load them up on our tank divisions here, so. All three of these are just going straight here. Any more planes? We've got some casts. Ooh, fighter twos, not bad. Probably can't get a lot of those, though. Uh, we're having the fighter twos, or just fighters. Can I have some fighters? Thank you. Nice. Alright, so you guys are here. That's good. Just break up that way. Come on. Come on. Could force it, but let's not yet. And create a merchant fleet. Cool. Good job, guys. They keep throwing in more guys. We just keep running them over, though. Which I do kind of like. These divisions are going to have to die. Yes! Yes, another tank division. Good, 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 good. Nice. Yeah, you guys go. Just go right there. Nice. Very good. Even if they break through, it doesn't even really matter. Good. Those divisions are overran. Happy 1945, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Veteran Fighter Initiative. And nice. Cool. You got him. Uh, uh, where is the line? Is there no... Guys. Guys. Why did you abandon the line? In what universe does this make sense to abandon the line? Why do you just keep death stacking? Why, AI? Why? Convoy? Nice, 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 nice. If that's the case, um... I'm gonna tell you guys to go ahead. Just move, if you can. Do whatever you can to help hold the line for now. We're gonna throw our, that one army up there, so... 
Logistics 2 would be nice. Let's go Logistics 3. Good. Hey, look at that. Another destroyer hole. Oh, crap. They're coming in with more guys. Hey, I don't know. Oh, wow. That's a big old group they landed. Actually, you guys don't really have anything to do, do you? So, there you go. There you go. Not bad. Are we missing something here? Or what are we missing? Oh, armored cars. Oh, holy crap. That's not good. There you go. Probably don't need as much artillery nowadays, so that's good. Throw those guys back on there. Six a day is not too bad. Uh, throw two of you guys here then. Well, I'm glad I looked over here. Man, I hate that the UK just keeps throwing in more and more soldiers. It's kind of annoying. Oh, do you have anything new? Yeah, Panzer Leader, finally! Nice! He's doing a fairly okay job. There's rushing soldiers over here. Good lord. So bad. Can you guys actually break through there? You actually might be able to break through there. Wow. Heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers. Destroyer and battleship. Nice. Convoy. Convoy. Oh, early ship hold as a battleship, four destroyers, a heavy cruiser, and two destroyers, another heavy cruiser. Not bad, not bad. We're sinking quite a few guys. I love it. We were actually able to break over here. Not bad. But really, we need to break over the river. It's just going to take some time. Don't do that. These guys have a lot of fights still left in them. I wish they, our allies were useful. And this one. Von Thrapp submarine warfare. Why not? Oh, hold on. Whoa. Hey! A converted cruiser hull. Carrier was sunk except for some of the German fleet. Two more heavy cruisers. A destroyer. A destroyer. A convoy. A destroyer. As well as two more destroyers. Very, very nice. Cruiser boys. Let's go in. Uh, head on into Antwerp, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you ride and go crazy like that? Hopefully you can. Hopefully you can do that as well. Fuel refining. Very, very good. More rubber because you can. You guys head into there, so... You guys move in here, too? Nice. False the attack. Force them to die. Guys, are you moving in there or not? Good. Oof. Hold him in place. Hold him in place. There we go. Eight divisions. It ain't much, but it's honest Soviet killing. Yeah, that'll help out the line, hopefully, a little bit more. Uh, actually, upgrades. Get some road upgrades. That'd be smart to do. We'll have to break through here next. Something like that. I don't know. Just somewhere we can break through. Wow. Convoy is a destroyer. A light cruiser. A convoy. A destroyer. Nice. Actually, let's grab some of this one out. They just keep attacking and attacking and attacking. And I'm just like, why? Why do you suck so much? Nice. Oh, Battleship. Look at that. Another heavy cruiser, look at that. A destroyer, an early cruiser, early destroyer, an early cruiser, another destroyer hull, nice. Most of these are just British ships too, so. And they still got a big old fleet, don't get me wrong, but still. Allies, please stop attacking. Stop wasting your men's lives. Please, 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 please. Go right on ahead. You're doing a fantastic jabberino. Oopsie. Wrong click. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job so far. Hmm. Hmm. the 
hell? No, this one I want to do like that. There you go. Carousel bombing. Let's grab some infiltration bombing as well. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Move in. Good. Force the enemies to die. Head up north. Do not let them in whatsoever. Good, good, good. Goodbye, Soviet boys. Goodbye. And we've got it. Now, this should help out everyone else. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Next up, I'm going to try to take over to Riga. Get over the line there. They've lost 3.75 million. A million to us. A million? Almost 900,000 to Spain, too. Wow. I know I should be paying attention over here, but I'm not interested in the naval battle stuff right now, which is very weird of me. I usually like reading about this stuff, but eh, it's just not really interesting to me right now. Heavy cruisers, heavy destroyer, light cruisers, nice. Uh, updated swords, very nice. Force it, we gotta break over the river, so. There's no waiting. Yep, I think they're doing last stand as well. At least some of these guys are. Some of these divisions are definitely doing last stand. Look at that. Nope, and now, now it's over. Or something, maybe not. I think I'm just going crazy. Uh, we're looking slightly better in our cars now. Not too bad, not too shabby ourselves, I'd say. Come on, come on. Ben, Venezuela looks really bad. Uh, yep, yeah, another story's gone. Very good. They just keep trying more and more offenses. Why? Fleet obviously not looking good. They have plenty enough guns, though. Fighters aren't too bad for them, either. So I'm not really exa exactly understanding why they keep doing that. Like, it doesn't make any sense why they should keep doing that. Oh, get some radar over here. That would actually be quite beneficial for us. Planes. Make sure we got the best airports, the largest air bases. Uh, cool. Cool. There you go. Got the light cruiser. Uh, we're out of armored cars. Planes probably a little bit. Destroyers, destroyers. How about planes? Fighters, where are we? Probably could use a few more of that too. There you go, more planes. How have we not broken over yet? Come on, guys. Well, hopefully we're learning to become an urban assault specialist. He's so close. Come on, get in there before they continue to recycle some more soldiers in there. No, oh, Vlasov. Andre Vlasov. That sounds eerily familiar to me. I play too much TNO. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Updated subs. Let's see what's come on. Yes, updated subs. This is so stupid. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Go kill yourself, Friedrich. You can't even get, take that stupid little tile. Come on. So dumb. He should easily be able to take that, but nope, he just refuses to be stupid. Just dumb, 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 dumb. Why? Go in. Go in, for the love of God, just kill them off. I'm getting annoyed at this, as you can tell, because we should be winning these battles very easily. And, oh my God, look how many stupid allies we've got. That's why I, just, I, I usually prefer to just take enemies over. There's no point to puppet people, because they're just stupid. These guys are just dumb. They're big dummies. Nice. That's good. Get that one. Doesn't really matter to me. Come on, guys. Get your butts over there. Well, you finally won. It took you forever to do so, so. No, hold, hold. Come on, guys. 
Why are these so stupid? Why are you so stupid? All right, naval bombers, hulls, souls, five destroyers. That's nice. One destroyer. Oh, two destroyers. Light cruiser, early destroyer, destroyers. So we're doing pretty. Wow. Uh, oh, we are fighting Sweden. I didn't realize that. Oh, well, that sucks. Oh well. Go right here. Half of you guys go right there, then. Should easily, 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 easily be able to do this. I'm glad we got a lot of extra. Uh, tanks in reserve because it would not be very good for us if we didn't so actually supplies looking really really good here you know what this is a really 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 bad idea and we get some modern tanks too that'd be good not very good in organization but hey that's that's tanks for you so and we'll do sea walls finally nice not bad even though we don't have any Ships of our own. Uh, how many heavy tanks do we need? We need a lot. Wow. Come on, Materna. Come on. Stop sucking. That's the problem with the Soviet Union. You just let them sit there and they just, just make more. Oh my god. I'm about ready to just delete all these enemy divisions. Uh, our ally divisions, actually. Wow, you guys suck. You guys really just suck. Oh, man. I, I don't want to continue doing this. I'll be honest. I don't want to continue doing this. It, it's gone into a slog fest. I mean, look at this. It's just a slog fest. What's the point of this? And they just keep attacking like crazy. Um, I think here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do more of this off screen just so we can kind of wrap this up. So, nothing for computing. Computer technology, nuclear research. I'll also do some of this stuff as well. The Croats have been neglected for decades, both under Habsburg and Serbian rule. Still largely agricultural, Croatia is barely able to stand up to on its own as its own nation, severely lacking any manufacturing capabilities. Investing in their economy could help boost their industrial growth and aid in making them a useful vassal. There are plenty of Croatian militia groups, but very few experienced officers capable of leading the new Croatian military. Our own officer army advisors are more than capable of educating both the Croat officers and corps and the foot soldiers of the army in the ways of contemporary warfare. They need all the help they can get, and in turn they will be able to help us in any future conflicts. We may have been given the Croats more than they could handle when we incorporated the region of Bosnia into the new Croatian state. The Bosnians have been since near open rebellion, as they are for the most part Muslim and are chafing under the rule of a Catholic government, even one so merciful and understanding as Archbishop Stepanax. If the Bosnians won't play nice, then they leave us with little choice but to begin a program of fourth conversion from Islam to Catholicism for all Bosnians, and then this one. The time has officially come to officially confederate Croatia as a semi-autonomous region of Austria. While maintaining a modicum of independence to associate the Croats, for all intents and purposes, we will have complete control over the economy and military to do with what, what, what we wish. The Croats remain, uh, retain the freedom and we get an influx of cheap goods and manpower. It's win-win, really. Um, anything else down here? Not really too much. And I'll, I'll go probably choose this one. The Zaner Plan. Birth of the Panzer Corps. Take the Initiative. And the Austrian Air Force. And really not much else around here. There's, a lot of the descriptions aren't finished yet. And that's totally okay. Totally okay. I understand that, you know, things take time to produce. So, pilot emphasis, air superiority, which will do all that stuff. And I'll see you very soon when the Soviets are almost completely dead. And here we have it, everyone. The Soviet Union has collapsed, and we're almost out of fuel again. Uh, I actually wasn't expecting that, because the Turks, well, they were called to the war. Uh, they're still in their own little anti-Bolshevik accord, in which, well, Bulgaria, they took Bulgaria with them, which sucks. But, hey, they were able to actually get all the way up to uh, Stalingrad, so that was kind of cool. And also, the reason why they actually capitulated much earlier than normal is because I was doing a... Yeah, you can see, I've got a lot of operatives around here. I was doing prepare a, a collaboration government, so that actually helped out quite a bit. Uh, here are the casualties. I've lost 2.67 million. It's May 11th, 1947. This was such a slog. I mean, holy crap. It was not very, very bueno. But regardless, I think that's going to end it here for today. Currently, I'm trying to develop Slovenia. I'll come back to this mod in the future, of course, once there's other paths for Austria, for the, you know, the Dreams of Austria mod, just because all we have is following fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I think the combination of just keeping on an ahistorical, I think I just got a little bit unlucky that, well, the Union of Britain joined the uh, Soviet Union. And as you can tell, they're still trying to invade me with a lot, a lot of guys. And when we look at casualties, 3.5 million. I just don't have the 
wherewithal right now or just the interest to naval invade or kill all these people off. But honestly, the United States really hasn't, really hasn't tried to invade us too much more. But hey, that's going to be the campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.